Jam McEnroe is taking a virtual stroll down memory lane, playing AI versions of his former self from his five best seasons. So this concept of me playing against myself and sort of reminiscing in a way and sort of experiencing thought processes that were good, bad, and ugly. You cannot be serious! But also having some fun with it, that seemed appealing. So that's why I'm, we're all here today. Let's do this. Bring it on, man. 1979. 79, I was breaking out, climbing the ladder. It was my first big win at Madison Square Garden, which is where I grew up. So that was really my big breakthrough, beating Jimmy Connors for the first time and Arthur Ashe in the final. So that was an amazing time for me. Traveling the world, meeting different people. Probably the most fun year I ever had. <laughs> When this event, Johnny Mac was scanned and motion captured, his strokes were analyzed and converted into digital data and programmed into a robotic return system. Easy piece of cake. 1981. 81 ended up being the first year I became number one, so that's obviously huge. I had never won Wimbledon, so winning that in 1981, I knew when I walked off that court, I'm the best player in the world. It's nice to sort of get to a place you're not sure you ever get to. It was an exciting time in tennis. Borg was this swashbuckler. The aura of him was amazing. Jimmy Connors, he didn't want me to get the mantle of being the best American, so he was battling away to try to keep me from getting that. My buddy Vitas Gerolaitis was around, and I think there was a level of intensity that I felt like I had in 81. <laughs> Game, virtual macaroni. Hey, yeah, that's no way to treat your older self. 1982. 82. A little bit more melancholy. My buddy Bjorn Bora gets stopped, and it was we had this great rivalry. I was like, what the hell happened here? Sort of set me back a little bit. I should have won Wimbledon. I could have won the Open. I just had lost a little bit of that intensity and drive. And then Connors like seized on that to his credit. And I lost to him in the finals of Wimbledon. That hurt a lot. It was by no means a bad year. Ranking-wise, I ended up number one, which is what you want at the end. But it felt a little emptier than like the previous year. Yes, that's it. Game, McEnroe. 1984. And then 84, I sort of felt like I put it all together, so that was like the best tennis I ever played. I was winning pretty much everything. With 82 wins and three losses, this season is considered by some to be the best of all time. All of a sudden, I'm like, wait a minute, this is actually what I've dreamed of doing. But still, it felt a little bit empty. When you're trying to be the best at something in any sport, in my opinion, it's tough to get it right. You know, if you want to have sort of a life, you're putting so much time and effort mentally and physically into what you're doing, you need to. That cost me in the end because I wanted more to life than just, you know, being the best at something. And so I was sort of reflecting, you know, I was sort of trying to figure out how can I, dare I say, have my cake and eat it too. Game, virtual magnet. There you have it, John just surfed 95 miles per hour. 1992. 92 was important in a lot of ways. It was the polar opposite of 79. It's like every match I played almost was sort of like, this could be the last match I play at this event. Am I even gonna go to Australia again? Am I ever gonna play Wimbledon? Am I gonna play the US Open? That type of feeling puts more pressure because you realize this is your last chance. <laughs> Uh, an incredible way to finish this one out. How would McEnroe in his prime match up against the greatest of all time? These are the unanswerable questions that will go into sports history forever. How would he have done against Laver or Sampras, Novak or Roger, Rafa? I mean, the ultimate test is you want to put yourself against the best, and I'd like to think that I would have adapted. 2022, John McEnroe wins the match. This is the perfect thing. It allows me to sort of reminisce, have some fun, appreciate it more, which I don't think I did enough of when I was at the top of the game.